Hey guys, it's time to Nefes and Chill. It occurred to me the other day as I picked up Volendrunk for the first time ever in Cyrodiil that I never really considered looking at exactly how it worked in Cyrodiil, what the skills were, and if it was easy or not to get the achievements associated with it to unlock the Volendrunk artifact furnishing, which by the way, costed me 2 million alliance points. Yikes. For those of you who are unfamiliar or newer to PvP in ESO, back in the Ellsworth patch in 2019, the developers put in an artifact weapon that would theoretically, according to some people, act as a counter to a player who may be Emperor, or larger groups of players in Cyrodiil, although this did sort of backfire as you'll most likely gather from the information in this video. If you ever want to play with Volendrang yourself without actually going for it in Cyrodiil PvP, you can actually pick up a quest in Cyrodiil from Shirogorath, the Mad Daedric Prince himself, who'll be hanging around the Notice Boards at one of your gates, He'll take you to Cheesemonger's Hollow, which you can actually revisit any time after the completion of the quest to test out Volendrung in an isolated instance. Uh, there's some basic rules with Volendrung. If you do pick it up in Cerado, however, first, Volendrung scales off of your highest stats. Interestingly enough, even stamina based characters seem to get larger boosts to their magic pools and their stamina pools. However, since Volendrung is a stamina based weapon, it will only take physical penetration and not spell penetration into account when calculating your damage. The skills you can cast while wielding Volendrung also do not cost either magicka or stamina. Volendrung is on a timer for its spawn and can spawn at any of the question mark locations on the Cyrodiil map once the notification pops up on your screen saying Volendrung seeks a wielder. If no one finds it before then, another notification will pop up 10 minutes later saying Volendrung's location has been revealed, which will be indicated on the map by a white Volendrung icon on the map which will turn red, yellow, or blue depending on the faction of the player who gets it. It seems that the most frequent spawn locations are behind the AD, EP, or DC gates or near Warden, King's Crest, Black Boot, or Blood Main, with some players claiming there is at least one set pattern to the spawn locations. Next, Volendrung is also on a timer. After you pick it up, indicated by the little red pole meter on the bottom right corner of your screen, the more players you kill, the more filled the bar you get. Theoretically, as done by other PAPers such as Fengrish, you can hold on to the hammer indefinitely so long as you're constantly in fights and getting kills. Upon the entire red bar expiring, you die on the spot, dropping Volendrung. It seems after being dropped at least 3-4 to four times, Volendrung will despawn and will spawn later on. It can only, however, spawn up to 5 times per day in any campaign. You don't have to get both of the Volendrung Wielder and Vanquisher achievements to get access to the achievement furnishing, just one of them, as a heads up. Unlike picking up previous artifacts such as the Elder Scrolls, you can actually use your mount while wielding Volendrung and can also use the Transitus Race Shrines at your Alliance owned keeps and gates, although you cannot heal yourself or even bar swap as you only have access to the uh, artifact abilities. In terms of the skills and buffs granted to you, you get a decent boost to your maximum health, stamina, and magicka, along with the ability to gain a shield when you kill a player, and also health restoration. The first skill on the bar that Volendrum grants is Rorkin's Rebuke, which deals X amount of damage, knocking enemies back 4 meters and stunning them for 4 seconds after sending them backwards for 4 meters. The second skill is Malakath's Vengeance, the spammable Volending provides. Although this is meant to be the spammable, I actually found this much more clunky and awkward to use than the first skill, so I ended up using the first skill as a spammable, ironically enough, instead of it being purely just for the stun. The third skill is a Cursed Charge, the gap closer dealing X amount of damage to an enemy. The fourth skill is Pariah's Resolve, which grants you and everybody in your party within a 28 meter radius weapon damage, stamina recovery, and major expedition for 20 seconds, while activation of the skill also removes all snares and immobiliz immobilizations from yourself. The last skill is Sundering Swing, which only affects keep walls and doors. It's really, I, I think this is probably the best part of using Volodring, personally speaking. It's pretty fun to use. Lastly, the ultimate is called Ruinous Cyclone, which deals X amount of damage every half a second for 7 seconds in an 8 meter radius while constantly pulling in everyone within 15 meters of you closer into that 8 meter radius black hole of death. 
And that's pretty much all you need to know about Volundrung, how it works, and what it can offer to players who pick it up. If you guys enjoyed this video or the other content I put out, please do consider subscribing to the channel to support me. Stay safe, have fun, and see you guys next time.